Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC, we do everything DIY and today we have a service call for a Mitsubishi CD Multi unit. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech. Today we are working on a Mitsubishi CD Multi unit. Pretty big unit. I mentioned this in a previous video just by the looks of this installation I knew I'd be back here check out that view this was installed only a few months ago that don't look too good take a look at this yeah I don't look good what the heck man I don't this is just holding the pipe up <laughs> that what the heck this thing looks old this just looks terrible man this is open. Ugh. This is another unit they're gonna install. Bro, how do they get that up here? These are new units they're gonna be installing, bro. <laughs> oh god, what a mess they did over here. Such a beautiful place, man. Unbelievable. So I got the service call saying that well, this one unit controls an entire apartment. And there's two large air handlers in the ceiling and they're saying one of them is constantly tripping so we're going to look into the error history here's a the thermostat this is model number par 40 maau so if you look at the error history see it's constantly that same 2502 so they said the unit works but constantly they're like we're having to reset this so there's three pages. This is one of three pages of error history, but I believe this is the most uh, recent. So 2502, could press down. 2502, 2502, then something 6831, 6607, geez. 6834, and then again, 2502. So considering this, it's probably this. So they said the unit works, but it's constantly having to be reset. And if we look at what 2502 is, it's going to make sense. I search it up on Google. It says the Mitsubishi error code 2502 for CD multi systems indicates a problem with the condensate drain pump or float switch. If the unit's cooling, that makes sense. And what does it do when it's cooling? It's condensating. So something's going on with that drain pump system. Either maybe the inlet is clogged or maybe the pump is faulty or, you know, there could be, you know, maybe it's not getting power from the board, who knows, but it's something with that pump. So pretty much the system runs and at some point the water level gets too high and the flow switch goes up and shuts this thing down. And that's probably what gives you this error code. So we got to look into our condensate pump, but it would make sense. Maybe the water evaporates, the level drops, they reset it, comes back on, and they constantly have to reset it because something's going up, with, going on with that drain circuit. Okay, so got an air handler system in the bathroom. What is that? No, it's not an exhaust. Let me see something. I think those are return. I want a supply. Okay, that works. I thought it was something like that. But if we look up here, see the filters? This very much could be your issue as well. This filter is completely obstructed. Two of them. How is this thing so damaged already? What? Brand new units. But yeah, man, these, these filters are packed. And this could cause drainage issues fairly new system i kind of be surprised that the pump failed already but when it's in this kind of condition i'll show you guys a picture especially the before and after that could cause an issue let me see what does this look like wow these are so dirty already they were running this machine i know what happened they were running this machine during the construction process Oh God, these are bad, man. Wow, these are bad already. Unbelievable. Very, very poor. 
Okay. We're out. Oh, God. So you're telling me the next access panel's over there? Over the sink? Ugh. That's gotta be where it's at. All right, well, first things first, we gotta start with cleaning these filters. Let's pull these out. Just a better idea, you can't really see my hand under this filter. Let's clean this thing up. Nice access panel. Huh. Only half of it, if not more, is being covered with these pipes. Look at this unit, man. Look how the wires come in here. And why is there three sets of cables coming in there with nothing holding it? Look how the electrical is shot in there, my lord. Right here is the electrical panel, and over here is a condensate pump. We gotta check this thing out. Man, horrible access. I'm like breaking my back here under this thing. Sure, that might be blocking here. You have all this space? No, you don't. The unit sticks out. All you have is this little space to work with. My lord. Anyways, I can't even get my head in there. Let's see if I can push my camera in there and see if we see anything. Yeah, I can't get my head in here to see anything. Let's use the camera. See if we see anything. If I use my cell phone with the light attached to it, I can't see a thing. Oh man, this is bad. Here's a difference in the filter. You can see right through it. Very important. What we're gonna do is pull that plug with a bag or a bucket underneath and uh, try to flush some of that water out. I don't know how much you guys would be able to see, but if I pull out this plug, let's see. Hopefully some water will come out, but in here. Okay. All right. A lot of water's coming out of here. Right here, some sludge came out. I'll take a picture so you guys can see, and that's what's in the pan. That thing needs to be cleaned. There's not, there's not gonna be too much I can do from here. Really got to cut the ceiling down and get access. There's no access here. Right, let's hit it with the wet vac. Try to suck any of that dirt out. Connect that. Pulling the water. So this is the plug directly underneath where the drain pump is. What would be good is maybe if you pour some fresh water in there and have a wet vac in there and kind of like flush it out, but it's honestly ridiculous. There's a bunch of screws and everything here to get under here and everything to really do this right. We need this open. And I'm not gonna kill myself. I'm, I'm extremely slanted right now. This is a crazy setup. Let's, uh, I need to start over a little bit with a couple things here. So best I will do right there is drain it out manually, flush it out, address their problem. I'm gonna mount their pump, close the covers back on, and I'll clean the half the clear, uh, filters clean. It should help a little bit, but clearly things weren't done right here and definitely during construction they were running this machine that caused this issue. It is a poor installation, but it's uh, running the machine during construction. But specifically, if you like go back into this video, you'll notice between the two air filters, there was a gap. And that gap just pushed in all dirt into the system. I have a video on my cell phone that you could barely see. Maybe I could take some screenshots or, or show you guys, but the coil is completely packed. The condensate pan is completely full of gross stuff. So there's a good chance this pump could be clogged as well. You know, uh, there's no space to work here. I really would want to get this covered down. So at this point, I'm gonna have to come back here. I'm gonna mount the pump, have to put the filters back on, which are clean, and just put everything back to normal. Unreal, last thing I would want to check is just make sure that this pump is actually turning on, like it's getting power and all those things. If it is, 
what I would do at this point, because it's so bad, just fully clean the machine and just change that pump while we're at it. Let's start over, fix up these electrical connections, and it is what it is, but that pan and the everything is just done. This, this is unbelievable. This, only, this unit's only a few months old, believe it or not. And this is just ridiculous to work like this. Horrible, horrible space. far as here, I put a screw there and I put a screw there. So now this pump is actually mounted. If this thing was laying down, that means the flow was going up much quicker. That could be tripping it as well. But of course everything is so dirty, you know, that's playing, playing a role in there between the air filters, the dirty pan, the dirty coil. A lot of things can be happening here. And this thing not sitting properly, it's just a freaking mess. Uh, best thing from here, turn this thing on, see if this thing gets power. If it does, come back to change the pump, rip this whole unit apart, clean everything, fix these electrical connections, erase the codes on the thermostat, and see what happens. Here's the electrical cover. If you look here, we have something labeled as DP. Right, and terminal C and P. And if we look at the symbol explanation, DP stands for drain pump. So we had a bunch of 2502s, drain pump issue, right? Then we got 6831. I'll show you what that came up as. Then we got 6607. I'll show you what that came up as. We had 6834, I'll show you what that came up as. But I believe that some of those communication issues was, was when this was being installed as a new unit. So, and you could see how things were just not professionally done. So you know how they're gonna have communication issues. It is what it is, then they figured it out and then they left. And then at some point we started to get all these pump issues. So what I'm going to do is delete the error history, click return, error history, select. So there's no error history. So we're going to start over. We're going to start over. So we know what next time if we come back, which I'm sure we will, we'll know if this happened again. So I'm gonna all right, set this unit to cool, 71 in the room, and we're gonna set it down to 67. Reset the system, all the codes are reset, so we'll know what's going on. Okay, put this filter back. There was a gap here, this is the weirdest filter. This thing actually snaps into each other. So now there's no more gap, and we're sealed to the end on both sides, so filters are back. We can close that up. I closed this thing up. I actually heard that thing pumping up a little bit. And you know, this thing wouldn't reset. There's no other, this is a gravity drain, right? And it drains and it, it only uses the pump, so it has to pump up through there. So yeah, water could evaporate, but if it wasn't pumping at all, this thing would just be ridiculously packed with water and it pretty much wouldn't reset them because it wouldn't drain like really much at all so I'm gonna let it be I'm gonna tell them new condensate pump clean the entire machine fix up these electrical connections and pretty much start over this is insane it's just over here I can't get my head up here so I can't fully see in there or here I mean these pipes are a problem they really need to be rerouted this is so bad this is just such a bad installation horrible 
horrible space, man. Come on, look at that. Can't get in here. All right, what you got over there? 57 and going down. 57 and going down. All right, yep. so the unit's cooling. We reset all the codes and closed everything up. We got clean filters, cleaned the pan up a little bit, whatever we could, but it is what it is. Like I explained, we're just gonna go with that route. New pump, clean it all up, start over, run some final tests, but we, we need to work like nice. <laughs> decent human beings here. We're gonna wrap it up from here. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time. Thank you.